These new images are worrying scientists. New images of 3 eye Atlas are causing a stir in the astronomical community. The closer the third confirmed interstellar object gets to the Sun, the more strange rhythmic light pulses appear that no one has ever seen before. 3 eye Atlas comes from the depths of space and is no ordinary comet. The flickering in this regularity is strange, alien, and at the same time fascinating. NASA and ESA are currently holding back on explanations, while independent researchers speculate. Could 3 i Atlas actually be active in a way that is no longer purely natural? It came out of the darkness between the stars and is faster, bigger, and chemically stranger than anything we've seen before. 3 i Atlas is moving at a speed of almost 57 kilometers per second and racing along a trajectory that lies exactly in the ecliptic the plane in which the planets move around the Sun. For an interstellar body, that is almost eerily precise. After its discovery by the Atlas Survey Telescope in Chile, further observations with instruments such as the Hubble Space Telescope, Stereo A, SOHO, and GOES-19 showed that the comet is increasing in brightness much faster and more strongly than is usual for known comets. This resulted in noticeable, sometimes abrupt flickering and outbursts, which were documented by various teams of astronomers. These sudden changes, combined with the unusually blue glow, show that processes are at work here that cannot be explained solely by classic comet outgassing. The telescopes involved thus provide a crazy picture. 3 i Atlas is more dynamic and unpredictable than any comet known to date. 3 i Atlas. It doesn't reflect, it glows. The latest images from Hubble, Stereo A, SOHO, and the GOES-19 satellite reveal an exciting detail. The brightness of 3 i Atlas increases eruptively rather than evenly. The closer it gets to the Sun, the interstellar comet displays strangely short pulses that appear to glow on their own. Spectral analyses indicate that this energy distribution does not correspond to the known thermal processes familiar from ordinary comets. Normally, light is produced when solar radiation heats water or dust on the surface of the comet, which then outgasses and produces a bright flash. But 3 i Atlas lacks important components. There is hardly any water, hardly any dust, hardly any ice, and yet it produces an astonishing glow that repeats itself. For weeks, the participating telescopes have been documenting the flickering phases with increasing intensity. The closer the object gets to the Sun, the brighter, more structured, and more complex the rhythm becomes. A simple chemical reaction would have long since subsided, but 3 i Atlas follows its own rules. Some researchers cautiously refer to a beacon effect as a metaphor for directed signals that are noticeable in interstellar space like light buoys. Officially, much remains speculation at this point. Unofficially, however, the question is growing. If Oumuamua already seemed suspicious, what does the strangely technical flickering of 3 i Atlas mean? Chemistry that makes no sense? Even the first measurement showed that 3 i Atlas is completely out of the ordinary chemically. The spectra indicate almost pure nickel. The absence of iron is so atypical that some researchers initially thought the measurements were incorrect. However, several independent telescopes confirm the findings. Nickel is an element that normally only occurs in conjunction with iron throughout the known universe. The ratio of carbon dioxide to other gases is also absurdly high. While ordinary comets consist of water, dust, methane, and small amounts of other gases, Atlas contains almost exclusively CO2 and cyanides. The measurements are more reminiscent of industrial waste products or a type of artificial alloy that has been contaminated. If nickel occurs without iron and emits light under cosmic conditions, then the object must be electrically charged, and actively so. Nothing like this has ever been observed in any known comet, asteroid, or space debris. Some astrophysicists therefore draw parallels with so-called technosignatures, astonishingly regular signals in space that indicate artificial energy sources. 
Linking 3i Atlas to a techno signature sounds spectacular, but even in serious scientific discussions, this possibility is no longer completely ruled out. One astronomer put it this way, We don't know what we're seeing, but if it's not a natural object, then humanity is observing something it can't explain. A course that seems too perfect. 3i Atlas moves on an almost circular trajectory within the ecliptic, the very plane on which our planets orbit the Sun. For a body coming from the depths of interstellar space, this is statistically almost impossible. In the scientific literature, the probability of such an exact alignment is given as less than 1%. Interstellar visitors would have to cut across the solar system at steep angles and then move away again on hyperbolic trajectories. Atlas, on the other hand, glides along at breakneck speed and almost parallel, as if it had deliberately joined the stream of planetary orbits. This behavior leaves even sober scientists perplexed. The course is not random, it is precise. To achieve such a trajectory, the object would have had to be slowed down or deflected by gravitational interactions over thousands of years. Even more astonishing is the direction from which 3i Atlas is coming. It roughly coincides with the region of the sky from which the so-called WOW signal was received in 1977. This was a strong, unique radio signal that is still being discussed today as a potential techno signature. Are these all coincidences or parts of a larger pattern? If 3i Atlas were an ordinary comet, its rotation would have to be chaotic, its orbit slightly tumbling, its outgassing minimally altering its flight path. But none of this is apparent. The measurements show a course that continues with mathematical precision. The object appears stable, too stable for a chunk of ice and dust. The changes in brightness, synchronized with the object's position along its trajectory, also seem almost as if the object were modulating its luminosity, depending on its location, and that, in turn, does not fit with any known physical explanation. A mystery between nature and intention. All of this can be explained by physics, theoretically. Some researchers point to complex interactions of CO2 emissions that could produce reflections at certain angles to the sun. But the more data is added, the less this model seems to fit. The emissions do not rise evenly, but in clearly separated pulses. Their structure is more like a signal than a chemical reaction. It's also striking that the brightness has not increased continuously in recent months, but rather in leaps and bounds. Between April and August, the total luminosity almost doubled and then fell slightly again. No known comet behaves in this way, especially one that consists of such unusual material. The CO2 concentration in the coma is many times higher than all previous comparative values, while water is practically absent. This means that the classic sublimation process, in which frozen water turns into gas and creates a comet's tail, plays no role here. When all these factors are taken together, the exact trajectory, chemical composition, energy release, and light pattern, there remains a residue of inexplicability. The research reports use cautious wording such as non-gravitational effects, unusual photometric properties, or unclear energy sources. No one openly claims that it is an artificial object, but the description reads exactly like that. Comets usually behave differently. They rotate irregularly. Gas flows generate torques that change their motion. But 3i Atlas appears stable, almost as if it balances itself. Its orbital deviations are minimal, and its rotation appears unnaturally uniform. The current trajectory brought the interstellar comet close to the Sun in October 2025 before it drifted back out into interstellar space. The object was most active during this phase, and this is precisely when researchers expect to obtain the best data. NASA plans to point several observatories at Atlas during perihelion, including the James Webb Telescope, the Very Large Telescope, and the Mars Orbiters, which are located near the trajectory. These missions are intended to clarify whether the energy emissions actually originate from within or are caused by external influences. 
If it turns out that the pulses occur independently of solar radiation, it would be a real paradigm shift. Because then, one would have to assume that 3i Atlas has an internal energy source, and that would be like unpleasant proof. Even if it turns out to be a natural anomaly, Atlas would be an object that fundamentally changes our understanding of interstellar bodies. Its properties, metallic, carbon-rich, with an active light pattern, contradict virtually all textbooks. The harbinger of something inexplicable? Perhaps 3i Atlas is really just another comet, and one that presents our science with a brain teaser due to its chemical uniqueness. Perhaps we see patterns where there are none and have fears about anything that cannot be explained. But it could also be that this object brings something with it that we are meant to understand. Ongoing observations show that 3i Atlas does not simply become darker or brighter, but reacts in a way that resembles a signal. Some speculate that these light fluctuations are frequency patterns that look like a code. There is no definitive evidence for this yet, but the discussion is ongoing. If 3i Atlas does indeed carry artificial signatures, it would be the second object of its kind to enter our solar system within a few years. After Oumuamua, which flew past the Sun in 2017 with an inexplicable acceleration, 3i Atlas would be another strange visitor. Both objects are suspected of being well-camouflaged probes, and neither object has ever been fully explained. Perhaps they are also something natural that we do not understand. We have never seen objects from space this close before. Unusual elements and compositions that were previously unknown may also show that the boundaries of our definition of natural were wrong. Ultimately, we don't know if nearly pure nickel is normal in other star systems, nor do we know how and where objects like Oumuamua or Atlas really originated. It can be frightening how little we really know about regions outside our solar system. Interstellar objects can be both an opportunity to learn and an unrecognized threat. Subscribe to the channel now and be there for every new video.